Tato Movie Guy, Uki. Okay. Yep, they call me the content delayer now. I apologize, but we're here to talk about the movies from Venice Film Festival. Even though it's almost been a month, but still, life has been very, very, very busy. Okay, after that little run, we are here to talk about Pablo Larin's latest film, Emma. Pablo Larin, if you don't know, he actually made one of the better films of the last 10 years in a film called Jackie, starring Natalie Portman, which deserved a lot more acknowledgement than what it did. It's very disappointing. And with his next film, he actually has gone back to his native Chile and has created a very interesting and mesmerizing piece of film. And we're here to talk about it. The film follows Emma. She is a young dancer who decides to separate from her partner Gaston after they have to give back their adopted son Paolo after a family tragedy. In a desperate search through the streets of the port city of Valparaiso, Emma seeks love affairs in order to overcome her guilt. However, there is a secret plan unfolding. Emma is an utterly liberating watch and Laren mesmerizes you from that very first frame. There is a mass dance sequence with a I'm going to say it's the sun, and solar flares are hitting you left, right, and center. It just grabs you and doesn't let go. And that's what you need in cinema. Family, relationships, bonds, sexuality, identity, flamethrowers, beautiful cinematography, a pulsating score is all mixed up in this pot and clarin provides clarity and a bucket turn of tenacity with his vision. He gives you a lot of plot detail when he wants and it may not always go down the A road, it might go down the B road and sometimes you have no clue where this is going. Very similar to Sunset last year, you just have to go for the ride. If you can go for the ride, this movie will not be for you. Just like some of the people that I saw in Venice with, not naming any names. But still, it provides a great cinematic experience. <sighs> Just like Gaspar Noe's climax, dance becomes another entity in this film. It gives it life, it gives it the creativity and the artistic vision that you expect it to provide. Emma's passion for her art flows and oozes through the whole film. And without dance, the whole sequence of situations would not come to fruition. And I adore that element of it. The whole package is provided in Emma. Mariana Di Girolamo's performance is utterly intoxicating. She grabs you from the beginning. There is such a mystique and nuance to her performance. And she just delivers this heartfelt and very, very intriguing performance that you don't always see in cinema. And it's probably one of the better performances I have seen this year, no doubt. She gives this power that you don't always see from these types of films. What provides more fire to Mariana's performance is Gal Garcia Bernal, who is from Itumama Tambien, a very famous Alfonso Cuaron film. Uh, their partnership and their issues together just create such tension, create such power to this, to this whole piece in general. And they just work off each other in such a very poignant and sometimes in a not so linear way. And Mariana's performance then just goes up tenfold purely by her rage and her anger for her former husband. Well, still kind of husband, but separated. Okay, but still. Emma is pure visual cinema with a very delightful plot. Sexual identity is a mass part of this and Larine really goes down the road of trying to explore this and I, I, I do generally believe he succeeds uh, in more ways than one and I am very intrigued to see how this opens up to more of an audience, especially people who love international cinema. And I do hope that the buzz will 
grow for it. Um, it's going to be playing at London Film Festival and I definitely am going to go see this again. Very excited to go see it. And uh, yeah, just one of the definite standouts. I ranked it, I think, third in my letterboxed ranking list at Venice. So if you want to go check it out, it's on letterboxed. Everything else is below, social media wise, if you want to follow me or whatever. And again, thank you very much for the views and more subscribers. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, feel free. It's somewhere here, I don't know. And obviously, as we say on this channel, the Ohtanka, Obrigado, Masi, Poku, Arigato, Nekshin, Bittishin, all the shins. And obviously, never change. Next up, Guest of Honor, Atta Magoyan. Get in that next. Bye.